Hello, in this video, I'm going to be passing a text format. This is the text we're going to be passing. We're going to be extracting the name, the address, the phone number, um, and the email. And we have all these different users. So today, we're going to be passing this text file into a JSON file, which we can then later work with. So the first thing we want to do is to import fs. fs works with the file system. Then we want to read the text from the file and split it on new lines. So we are going to be splitting all these into individual lines. That's going to be an entry in the array. That's going to be one. That's going to be one and so on and so on and so on. Reading the file synchronously. We could have done all this asynchronously. So I'm reading the file users dot txt, converting it to a string and splitting it on new line. The next thing we have to do is make a variable where we can store all our past users. Then we need a loop. We need to loop through all of the lines. Instead of just going through each line, we are actually jumping six each time because one, two, three, four, five, six. So that means that the first time we're gonna go in the loop, we are looking at all these lines. The next time we're going through them here and here, and then we're just gonna extract that information out. So we have the next six indexes where we can drag information out. So we're just gonna take the first one, which is the name, the next one plus the one after that is the address. So these two are the address. This is the phone number. So that's the phone number. And the email address, which is the last one. And then we have an empty line. And then we just loop through this until we have all the users. The next thing we have to do is save the users we got to a file called users.json. We have to remember to stringify that. And then we can just press save. So we do node parser.js and we run this. You can see that we get a file. And if we just format this with all of the users with their name, address, phone number, and email. So we took this text format and converted it to this managed data. Okay, so there's pretty much an unlimited way this data can be structured in a file like this. But it's just to show the general concept of working with text data and converting it into a managed format. There is endless possibilities that this data could have been structured. This is just one way. But I hope you saw the general principle that I used to read in the file and pass it. But the way you're passing the file is going to be very, very different from mine. Some are going to be very easy, like this one, and others are going to be really complicated. So that was it for now. Hope you liked the video, and see you in the next one. Bye!